Hi. Okay, so it's summer right now, still, for me, because I live in Canada, and basically, school is going to start next week, and I know I haven't shown my hot girl summer transformation, so this is all I can do. Basically, I'm just going to be doing my makeup, because the last time I did my makeup was probably a year ago, so I thought might as well do it now, because... I'll consider this as like a makeup transformation I guess just before school starts because I need content on my YouTube channel and I've been very lazy about it. So I'm going to be doing my makeup and I'm also going to be talking about stuff. I'm going to be starting off with this Revlon Photo Ready Brightening Primer. I actually haven't tried this before because it's new and I don't know what it's going to look like so we're going to try that out together. I think it's working. Hopefully it makes my makeup stay. I got it on. I don't know if I made it my face brighter, but it's it's on. Alright, so next foundation. I'm gonna be using this Rimmel 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 London Lasting Finish 25 Hour Foundation. And I'm just gonna be dotting this all over my face. Cause Actually, you know what? <laughs> I'm just gonna drag this across my face. Alright, and I'm just gonna cover up my ugly, dull skin. I hate this side of my face. It's so ugly. It makes me look ugly. And I also might be doing a school makeup routine like last year. Was it last year? I don't remember. I think it was for my 10th or 11th, 10th grade makeup thing. I did it. I did a makeup school routine. So I might do that for senior year too. So now that all my blemishes have been covered, I'm going to be going in with a concealer and concealing my dark spots. So I'm using this Rimmel London Wake Me Up. Up, I think concealer I don't know I'm too lazy to check but I'm just gonna put this where people usually put their concealer hi how are you okay so if y'all were curious I went to Philippines earlier this year and I have quite a few stories that I will not be including in my vlog because okay the thing with my vlog, my Philippines vlog, I know I know no one's anticipating it. I know for sure no one's anticipating it. But I haven't finished it at all. It's not even close to being finished. I've just been very lazy and not have been working on it. So it's probably gonna be out by next year. <laughs> Hopefully by the end of this year it will be out. Maybe September if I feel motivated to edit oh right and i'm filming on my new phone it's a huawei p30 Lite. i don't know if it's any different from my old phone camera but i think the camera's pretty good so i have my foundation a foundation yeah my face base base makeup done i usually powder my face at this point but since i'm not going out i don't really need to do that next up i'm gonna do my eyebrows I got this at the dollar store. This is the Wet n Wild eyebrow pencil. And my eyebrows are already thick by themselves. But I fill them in anyways. So I usually just outline it with a brown eyebrow pencil at the bottom of it. I don't usually do the top part because I feel like it's too strong. Oh my gosh, if you watched my makeup school routine my eyebrows in that were so bushy and thick i only realized how thick they were until right after i shaved my eyebrows now they're thinner than before and i don't fill it in with powder anymore i use a pencil so it's more natural than before but it's still thick you know but not as thick as before because my eyebrows back then were thick like double c thick for some reason, I have this like fear that people think I look angry because of my eyebrows, but honestly, it's not that. It's just I have a resting biatch base, and that's just 
how I'm engineered. <laughs> I'm done with my eyebrows. I'm gonna set that with this um, eyebrow mascara thingy. So it's just a brown shade. I put the I put it on all the time, so because my hair is brown. All right, and about my hair, I actually did get it straightened when I went to Philippines for three thousand pesos. I don't know what that's equivalent to, but basically, I got a Brazilian blowout. I was supposed to get um, my hair rebonded, but that ended up not happening because my hair was too weak. Alright, next up. Alright, so I'm going in with this Vice Blush. So this is what it looks like. I usually just dot it on my cheeks and I don't make it too obvious because i'm gonna look like a clown if i put too much red blush i usually use pink but for summer i think red is really nice so i'm dusting that on my nose and my cheeks so i can be warmed up even though my cheeks already get red as is and i don't know why but when I'm flustered, I get red easily. Or when I laugh a lot, I get red really easily. So I don't know why I'm putting more blush on my cheeks when literally my cheeks already get red by themselves. Alright, next highlighter. I usually just put it on my nose. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that is a lot. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, this is a Vice one too. Um, I actually really like Vice's makeup line. It's really good. Especially his liquid lips. Those are awesome. Oh my god, I think I put, too on, I put on too much. I definitely put on too much on my nose. Now I just look like a flashlight. You might not see it on camera, but it's really obvious. Okay, whatever. It's always better to glow than not to glow. I guess next we have to do eyeshadow. And then, oh wait, yeah, okay, eyeshadow. So, I don't really have a particular idea in mind right now. So, I'm just going to do what I think looks good. If you watched my old videos, you might have seen this. This is my first ever eyeshadow palette. And I actually, speaking of eyeshadow palettes, I've really been looking into ColourPop. And their palettes actually really look good. Especially the peach one that they came out with. I'm just using this brown shade right now. The peach one they came out with recently looks so cute. Like, it's cute. I actually want to get it. But I don't have money. <laughs> Which is why... You know what? Here's, here's my advice, okay? If you want to glow up, you need to get a job. You need money to glow up. Because if you don't have money, I mean, if you have nice clothes, nice makeup, and is pretty, and has a good figure, then I guess you can glow up by yourself. But for me, in my case, I need lots of help, especially financially wise, and I have not gotten a job this summer, so it's my fault, okay? Totally my fault. Alright, since I'm doing like a fruity kind of like summery look oh my god this is such a late video and i'm sorry to my filipino people you know it's always hot there it's always summer so basically this look is all year round okay so i'm gonna be going in with this look at my eyes little eyeshadow single eyeshadow thing from etude house i think and it's like an orange shade so what i'm gonna do with this is i'm gonna dot it on my finger looks like that you can't really see it but it's like shimmery and i'm just gonna dot this over my eyelid to get it like at least have color but it's also shimmery and it's also kind of like summery um you can't really see it but it's it's a nice color that's all i gotta say it's a nice color so after i'm done with that I go in with an eyeliner to make it cute. So makeup tip from me, if you guys don't really want to use a dark eyeliner, especially for everyday stuff like school, I suggest using a brown eyeliner because it's much more natural 
uh, even though you can still see it, at least like it's not as dark and bold as black eyeliner. So what I do with this is I just, I just line my eye like this. So what I do with my eyeliner is I wing it out, but not up. Because I like it nat more natural, especially for school. I do this all the time. What I do is I just drag it down like this. And I just go with this. Because I personally think that doing your winged eyeliner up, for me, I feel like it's more bolder of a look than natural. So what I like to do is just drag it down. Because at least it's not as eye-catching i mean unless you guys want to do that then go ahead but this is what i like to do did you get a natural look oh man this eyeliner oh god what did i do <laughs> i don't know what the hell is happening right now i just made that too thick i'm gonna fix that up later i'm just gonna do wing this out i'm gonna fix it up just a sec guys <laughs> Alright, we're almost halfway done to with the transformation. Actually, it's not really a transformation, but <laughs> this is literally just what I do is makeup. Okay, now that we have our stuff down, I'm gonna curl my eyelashes and then put mascara on. With my eyelashes, my eyelashes are really straight, so they grow down instead of up, which I would prefer it to grow up, but it grows straight down. And I really have to, like, really clamp it to get it to stay up. Uh, and you probably have to use, like, a waterproof mascara if you want your eyelashes to really, you know, curl up. Alright, mascara done. It might not be on fleek, but it's done. Oh, and you guys see those posters at the back? If you know, you know. So, if you already haven't heard from my intro. Oh my god. I can't, I can't clamp my eyes. This eye is so hard to clamp. Oh, also, I've been watching a lot of YouTube during the summer, and I stumbled across this YouTube channel that I really like to watch. Her YouTube name is Your Mom Ashley. I love her videos. Like, I love her videos. And I love her as a person because she's beautiful. And her sister Amber and her brother Andrew are like the funniest people ever seen so yeah shout out to them you guys should go subscribe because they are literally the most funniest people ever and i love watching their content <laughs> something that i can't do because i'm bad <laughs> at doing youtube i'm not gonna do my bottom lashes because that's too much of an effort so, finally, we're on to lips. We're almost done. So, I'm going to be using this lip gloss from Revlon. This is also new. I got it along with the primer. Honestly, I used it once and my lips started peeling. But, it's probably... It couldn't have been this. I don't know. Let's try it out. This has, like, no color in it. Which is fine because I'm going to be using this for school. Um, yeah. So since it's the end of the video, I just wanted to thank you guys for watching till the very end. I don't know why you would want to watch me till the very end, but you made it. I want you guys to comment down below what you did this summer. Because literally all that I did this summer is watch movies and watch YouTube. Okay, alright guys, this is the finished look. What y'all think? End of words. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you guys, if you, I know I say this in every video and no one ever replies. 
But if you guys have any suggestions on what I should do as a video, comment down below. And also subscribe because, yeah, <laughs> I kind of need subscriptions. What? Okay, thanks for watching. I might do more makeup videos, especially school-related stuff because school is coming up and I'm going to be a senior. So I'm going to have to do a lot. As a senior, I have a lot of school advice, so I might make an advice video as well, but I won't promise that because I literally did not do, I, did, I didn't finish the vlog, so that's probably going to come out soon.